Hey everyone, oh, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about bank accounts. Now, how perfect is it to be talking about this now that we're hearing about a lot of bank failures going on? But I thought that I should talk about it due to some of the issues that I've been having with my current bank or one of my current banks that I have. So today we're going to be talking about all my different bank accounts and how I am using them. So if that is something that you're interested in, keep on watching. So like I said, we are going to be talking about the different or yeah, the different bank accounts that I have and how I use them. So I currently have five bank accounts across many different types of banks and three of them are my personal banks and then the other two are going to be banks that I share with my husband because we do share a household account for all of our household bills and savings. So let's get on into it. Number one is Wells Fargo. <laughs> And so that is my current bank. I am in the process of trying to change from Wells Fargo to um, Navy Federal. However, my husband has Navy Federal and I have like an account with him with Navy Federal, but it's just like my name on there. I tried to apply for it and they denied it. And my husband was like, please go and appeal it. I took a little bit, but um, I appealed it. So I'm just waiting for them to answer. Um, and with that being said, this is what that bank would then do for me. And it took a lot of thought into why I want to do this. So let's rewind. I currently have Wells Fargo and I've had them since they were Wachovia. And I had them starting in about 2009 because that's when I started my original job. And I always had them. That was always my main bank and I've never had any issues with them until about six months ago. Money started coming out of my savings account and they could not explain it to me and it happened two months in a row. I decided to close my savings account and that was kind of like strike one for me with them. Um, but you know, I just kept on like I didn't have any other issues. Then around, was it maybe end of February, maybe not middle of March, they had an issue where all of your deposits and things of that sort that was put into your bank account just automatically disappeared. People's accounts were um, going into the negative and things of that sort. And that made me very, very uneasy. And I don't like changing things. Like when I have something, I really stick with it until like things get you know, really bad, or I can't use that item or thing anymore. And when that happened, that really just made me feel uncertain and uneasy about Wells Fargo anymore. Um, and, you know, I have a lot of products with them. I have, um, have or have, just depending on when you guys see this video, a um, personal loan with them. I do also have a credit card with them. And like I said, other than like these two issues, I really just didn't have any issues with them. I hear a lot of things that go on with the things that they're doing, but me personally, I just wasn't having those issues. So I wasn't really pressed to leave the bank that I had. So that is what's going on with that. I will keep you guys updated on if I switch over from Wells Fargo to Navy Federal, but as of this video, I do not have any word from Navy Federal. So with my Wells Fargo account, this is my main account. This is where the bulk of my direct deposit comes in, where all of my bills get paid out of, and it's also my brick and mortar. So what that means is that, you know, they have actual branches somewhere. They're worldwide or let's just say US wide. So I can go anywhere in the US if I needed a bank, there's going to be, you know, a branch somewhere that I can go in and speak with someone or do something like that. And that's always the goal is to kind of keep a brick and mortar bank so that worst case scenario, if you do need to go in and see a banker or do something like that, you do have the opportunity to do that. So that's one of the reasons why I did also want to move to Navy Federal because they do have branches. They don't have a whole lot, but we currently live in Texas and we do have a branch that is very close to us if we needed to um, go to an actual bank. 
And so that is mainly what my Wells Fargo checking account does. I used to have a savings, but like I said, I closed that. So my next bank is going to be Capital One. I opened Capital One, I wanna say back in 2019, I got a checking and a savings account. I currently use the Capital One 360 checking account for my cashless cash envelopes. Originally, I was putting my money into there and then I was actually swiping that debit card and purchasing all of the things that I needed for you know my, my cashless envelopes. I now just put the money in there and have it sit, but I do use my Capital One Quicksilver card for all of my purchases. I get my points and then at the end of the month, I just transfer whatever money from that checking account to my Capital One Quicksilver card. I also have a savings account with them. I know you can open up like up to 25 different savings account. I haven't gotten there yet, y'all. <laughs> I just literally have one savings account with them and then... Um, Originally, I would just put all of the money in there and then track the different savings on paper. Currently, right now, I am just using it once again for my future savings. So things like um, if we potentially decide to have another baby, um, you know, saving for that. Also saving for potentially staying home like full time or, you know, transitioning to maybe a different job that would require me to stay home a little bit more so that I can spend time with baby girl and also be more available as she gets older. Um, and then just other different things that I'm not going to get all into, but that's just like our future savings, my future savings, things of that sort situation. So that's what's sitting in that savings account. And then my last personal account, which I think is my favorite, is SoFi uh, Bank. And I just recently opened them back in September of 2022. And the fun thing about them, they are an online bank and they actually give you an APR for both your checking and your savings. And when I mean like you're getting an APR, originally it used to be 2.75, but then they dropped it back down to 1.20. So that's still more than regular banks and even Ally. And so in your checking account, you are earning some cash in there as well too. And then I'm actually getting 4% right now in my savings. They do have something very similar to Ally. Instead of having buckets, they have vaults and they allow you to have about 20 vaults in there. So I use about five of them because that's where I keep my personal sinking funds. And so I house my personal sinking funds in, I don't know why y'all, my nose is scratching me while I'm doing a video. Um, but that is what I keep all of my personal sinking funds in the savings account. And then I do have a checking account with them. And currently I just let $5 out of my income go into that account and it's just building. Right now I'm not using anything in that checking account. I have not made up my mind what I want to do with it just yet. I'm just letting the money sit there and grow and we will go from there at some other point as to what I would like to do with that checking account. Now we're going to go on to my two household accounts. So my first household account that I share with my husband is with uh, Smart Financial and that is a credit union here in Texas. We opened this up, I wanna say maybe two years after living here um, and that checking account is or that bank is pretty much our brick and mortar for our household. They have branches here so we can go in and actually actually do business. And the checking account side of things, that is where all of our bills are paid off. Everything happens in that checking account. We do have a savings account, but this is the one thing that I don't like about the savings account is I hear a lot of times that people say, if you have a credit union, their savings rate and things of that sort is really good. Well, ours isn't. Um, <laughs> And so um, I keep our rainy day funds in there, which is easy access to go and get money out of that account. If, you know, we needed to, you know, get money for an emergency and things of that sort. But then all of our other savings leads us to talk about our last and final 
bank account, which is Ally Bank. I opened that the same time that I opened up my SoFi checking. I had been learning about online banks and higher APR yields and things of that sort. So I opened this up for our household account. Um, in our household, things will be changing over the years, but we do have a checking and a savings with Ally. And our checking account currently right now, we're not really using it. However, they... Um, we will be eventually going into next year. We'll be using that checking account for household things such as like grocery and buying household items and things of that sort because I currently take care of that. But we will be fully transitioning to the household budget sometime next year. And then we have our savings account and that keeps all of our household savings and sinking funds in there. And that gets currently, I want to say they emailed me like yesterday, um, as of this video, what's today, March 25th. Um, they, I think they raised the APR to like 3.7 or 3.6 or something like that. So we're in that, I know we were at 3.4, so it's nothing lower than that, but that is what we're getting in our savings account, you guys. And so um, I really love how our system works. I do believe that you need more than one bank. You wanna spread your money over several different places. Some banks or some accounts you need to just save and leave it, don't know it exists and just keep on moving. But it's always good to have at least one brick and mortar bank that you can always go to in case you need to go to a physical bank. So we have a mixture of both. Let me know in the comments down below, how many banks do you guys have and how do you, you use them? If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next one.